Hey guys, welcome back to another creepy video compilation. Make sure you like this video so we can get it recommended to others. And don't forget to subscribe so you can keep seeing videos just like this. I talked about some weird sh It was Ren Eleanor on TikTok. She posted her daughter and her daughter is very, very young, bro. There's weird comments. A lot of people saved the videos and mad people were searching up that account with like some weird ass words to, to yeah, go with words it. to go with it you see how it's top search yeah like the top search was some random ass, like oh eating banana eating cucumber like why that bro also it's the person's fault because you see how you could choose a the cover was like a weird ass pose that's one con about social media is the pedophiles and the creeps no yeah because also my sister sent me a video of a guy liking a picture of like a little and then like someone screen recorded them looking at that person's account and then they went to the guy's following page and literally all his following is like little Affiliate shit. It's a lot of weirdos, bro. Good thing is we have other people that usually expose them pretty easily. They're all over the damn place again tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna keep walking towards it. Might actually get to capture something here. Son of a bitch. All right, whatever you are, you need to leave. Stay out of this place. This is our home. This is our home. You need to leave. Leave now. I don't think it's going to come around for a little bit. I think that'll keep it away for a while. He gone. Oh, God. I hope that does it. I really do. Dude needs to get a scope for his rifle, man. And maybe a stronger flashlight. That thing actually looked creepy. Uh, yeah. That was going. I think there's 20 of them. Dude, what the hell were those? What animal swims like that? If you know what animal does that, let me know in the comments. Something bad happened to Kanye West. Recently, photos have been going viral of Kanye and his new girlfriend, and he looks nothing like he used to. His body is a completely different shape, and he is almost unrecognizable. Some were joking around saying he's in his BBL era, while others are convinced he's allegedly been swapped with a lookalike after his public meltdowns. In fact, he was quoted saying, if I ever disappear and come back, it's not me. If I, if I ever went anywhere, we'd know why. You understand what I'm saying? So. This resulted in people noticing that his facial structure is completely off, and others are adding that this is all the proof that we need that this person is not actually Kanye. Whoa, dude. I had not seen all those other pictures of him. He looking thick. Is he wearing padding under his clothes? Like, I don't get it. When you eat the fruit, you should eat the seed. There's a tribe of folks in northern Pakistan called the Hunza. The Hunza people never get cancer. When the tribe was first discovered, their average age was 160. The Hunza people's favorite food to eat is apricot seeds. They take the apricot seeds and squeeze them and get oil out of them. They put the oil on their skin and the women don't wrinkle. They're really good looking at 70 and 80. Jason Vale uh, teaches, he said, cancer cannot survive in a body of a person that consumes apricot seeds. Did you know bread used to strengthen your heart? They learned years ago if they take out the vitamin E, the lecithin, and the omega-3 fatty acids, they take them out of the wheat, make the bread with white flour, the bread lasts for months. But the people started dying of heart attacks and strokes and circulation problems. See, a simple formula, the whiter the bread, the quicker you're dead. The whiter the bread, the quicker you're dead. I gotta remember that one. I don't think it's necessarily the seeds, it's just that everything is super highly processed. If you don't have the money, it's hard to get clean food, man. Hey, back up. Yes, back up. Have a good day. Back up. Back up. Back up. Get 
Get off my brother. Back up. Sir, sure. I did. You have a gun with you? Jesus Christ. Bro, that tweaker got so offended. I have never seen that in my life. <laughs> you won't believe this crazy discovery about 9-11. Everybody knows that on September 11th, 2001, the Twin Towers in New York City were struck by two airplanes and both towers collapsed to the ground. Thousands of people were killed and the damage was devastating. However, in 2010, workers excavating the crash site discovered something very strange. They discovered the remains of a 30-foot-long wooden boat that was buried underneath the 9-11 rubble. <laughs> the question soon became, how did a shipwreck end up 22 feet beneath the World Trade Center? Scientists began to research and analyze the wood that was found from the ship. And in 2014, they were able to conclude that the ship was built around the 1770s, around the same time as the Declaration of Independence and it's believed that the ship was sailing through Lower Manhattan where it sunk. And as New York City began to grow, the city of Manhattan expanded right over the top of the ship. At least he didn't part to me. We got an answer by the end of the video. Nice. In the basement of one of Ohio's most haunted houses, where mistreated and mentally disabled children were abandoned. Listen as they ask for our help. Friend, are you, are we friends? He's a demon friend. Help! Friend, help! It wants us to help him. Hey, what's what's up? What? M. M? Like you? Like, are you trying to say me? Like, help, friend, help me? What do you need help with? Just give us a word, and we will piece it together. Is this Tim? Yep. Stop. There was something on your shoulder. Right here? No, other one. It's cold, dude. It's freezing. He's gone. He was... Sadness! How can we help you? How can we make you not sad? Love! Love, dude! Dude, who was here? Children who were pretty much abandoned. Right! Yeah, that was kind of sad, man. You know how when we talked about the Kanye West thing, it was like kind of softly admitted to sacrifice his mother for fame? And yeah. we've seen this tons yeah. and tons of times. People's, you know, their brother dies and they're famous. Like there's this, there's a sacrifice, like literal actual yeah. blood sacrifices happening yes. for, for worldly treasures, right? Mm -hmm. You said that the, 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 the innocence that you kill in mm -hmm. a child mm -hmm. is a form of demonic sacrifice. Yes. What are, what is, what does every celebrity have now instead of dead kids? Trans kids. Trans kids. Yeah. And I've heard this said, a lot of people said, you're not going to see them killing their kids anymore. You're gonna send them transing their kids. Yep. Because it's still a form of sacrifice. And if they can get away with a, what, what's the line? I'd rather have an alive son than a dead daughter. Yep. It's literally that's their their choice. They're that's the choice of sacrifice in the elites today. This is the first time I'm making that connection. Uh, I'm not touching that one. Next. I do have something to tell you, bro. That I can't even explain until this day. Nobody can, brother. It's hella weird. Did so, this happen a long time ago? Well, it still happens. Whoa. So this happened in Scotland at this place called Overturn Bridge mm -hmm. or Over Overturn Bridge. I and know what you're talking you about. might you might have heard this, bro. Apparently, since 1960, bro, over there on this bridge, there are hella dogs for some weird that reason themselves. that jump to their death. From this bridge and it's like a 50 foot drop i've heard about this yeah and the craziest shit about it bro is some of these dogs will survive the drop Ooh. and then still get back up, and jump, back off up again. And jump off again that's insane and even till this day the dogs still try, try to, to find that shit. so people will just avoid walking their dogs across that type of bridge so that it bridge. could even be like i'm walking my dog yes and, and my dog would try, try, try to jump yes Whoa. like what is the phenomenon you know what i mean what makes the dogs want to jump you would think they would have built a fence around the bridge by now. Or a net to catch the dogs at least. Weird Nature Facts Part 2 If you were to swim near a pot of narwhals and happen to hear one whistle, it might be the last thing that you ever heard. The sounds that narwhals make are so loud that they're said to be deafening to humans. If a female fox dies, their mate will stay single forever. But if a male fox dies, his widow will search for a new mate immediately. The vision of the pronghorn antelope is comparable to a human wearing 10 times magnifying binoculars. In other words, on a clear night they can see the rings of Saturn. 
Cockroaches find humans so disgusting that if they touch you, they will run away and clean themselves immediately. <laughs> Photographer Herbert van der Beek captured this extremely rare moment of a jaguar diving underwater to catch its prey. Jaguars are very good swimmers and can hold their breath for up to two minutes underwater. Sharks have survived four out of the five mass extinction events and have been around for more than 400 million years. This means they're older than Mount Everest, older than dinosaurs, older than trees, and even older than your mom. <laughs> you have to do me dirty like that. Oh, that was a good one. Those that make my skin crawl. This man stayed in a suite that he thought was the luxury suite, but what he finds hidden in the bathroom cupboard will make you never want to stay anywhere ever again. I thought hidden cameras in Airbnbs were bad, but this just blows that out of the water. This man was staying at a resort, and his room was one of the nicer rooms available. He starts by showing us into the bathroom. Looks divine. A standalone bath surrounded by clouded glass walls. How perfectly soothing to relax in right not quite there were a few full-length cupboards in the bathroom but what he finds in the second one makes me feel sick there's a trap door but that's not the end of it This leads to a whole hallway that runs behind the glass walls. Bro. Imagine taking a bath with an audience, as if this huge hidden corridor behind the wardrobe wasn't enough. There's yet another trapdoor. This leads to some kind of cellar, dungeon looking room. What the hell is this? Is this just the layout of an old building? Or is this set up as something more sinister? Why have the trapdoors through the wardrobe from the hall? and the dungeon. Who needs to be going into that room from the outside? What do you think this is? Is this normal fire tales? I feel so stupid now. We're not checking any of the hotels I stay in. When did this start happening? Jeez. But what I, I realized is we are the first species on the face of this earth to be aware of evolution, to be aware that we are affecting our own evolution by everything that we do, the babies we eat, the food we eat, the car, wars we fight that we do. The babies we eat, the food we eat, the babies we eat, the food we eat, the, the babies we eat, the food we eat. Even the elites get old, and even they start slipping up. There's no taking that back. Come on, us! <laughs> Retiren a la gente ustedes, retiren a la gente. Vámonos, Jaque. He's so mad. I would be too. Yo, there is a dude that got left behind. That was so intense. That guy was just nonchalantly walking away and then he got swallowed up by the smoke. 
Hopefully that dude made it out. Have you ever heard of the gambler from the future? No. All right. So back in 2003, this guy, Andrew Colson, he had a crazy run in the stock market. In two weeks, he turned $800 into $350 million. You can't just do that without it raising some eyebrows. Yeah. So the FBI showed up, right? And they arrested him. He claimed that he was from 250 years in the future. That's a good way to get out of it. The craziest part about the whole story, there were no records of his existence before December 2002, three months before they arrested him. What? The wildest part of it? He. I think a more reasonable explanation is he was counting cards. Not everybody has to be a time traveler. Have I ever had a time slip experience in the woods? Now, I can't say I had a time slip experience. But I'm darn sure I came across someone who did down on a skitter trail up by Timmins. I was out solo and I was looking for a good place to hunt grouse. And I was going up and down logging roads and up and down skitter trails. And if you know Timmins in Northern Ontario, you know how isolated it is and how out there you are and how rare it is to see people, even during hunting season sometimes. And I'd been up and down this road a couple times looking for grouse. And as I'm coming out of the skitter trail on my way back onto the logging road, there's a dude flagging me down. And I'm kind of thrown off at this point, but I roll up to him and I say, how can I help you, sir? And he doesn't answer me and he's enamored by my truck. He's just staring at my truck up and down, walking around. And I said, sir, is everything all right? And he still doesn't answer me. And I'm kind of nervous at this point. Mind you, I have my shotgun right there. My shotgun is sitting shotgun. And I said, sir, can I help you? And he said, what is this thing? And I said, it's a truck. And he goes, no guff. Or, or something to that effect, some phrase I haven't heard in a long time. And he said, but what is it? And I said, it's a Chevy, it's a GM. And he said, I've never seen one like this. I think you're fibbing me. As he's observing my truck, I'm observing him. And he's got a crisp, brand new leather jacket with a tassel and buttons. He's got a pack of darts I've never seen before logo and pack of darts and colors I couldn't recognize. He had a crisp white tee, a black comb, black jeans, and black cowboy boot, and jet black hair, and from what I could ascertain, he was a First Nations Indian fella. But he couldn't get over my truck, and he was staring at me and looking at the inside of my truck, and it was like it was all foreign to him. And I said, is everything all right, buddy? At this point, I'm a little nervous now. And he says, yeah, actually, I'm just looking for my dogs. Can you help me look for my dogs? I think I'm kind of lost. This part of the forest doesn't look familiar. And I said, hey, look, bud, I'm on my way out right now. But if I come across your dogs on the way to the main road, I'll double back and I'll let you know where they are. And I'll pick you up and I'll bring you to them. And he said something to the effect of safe bet. Or another phrase that I didn't recognize or a phrase I've never even heard, not even amongst the Indian community. And as I'm driving out the road, I'm driving for about four or five minutes now. I realize I don't see his dogs and I say, you know what, I'll let him go. I'll give him some peace of mind. I'll let him, I'll go tell him I haven't seen his dogs. I'm headed home, buddy. And when I turned around, I came back up and down the road again, up and down the skitter, and he was gone without a trace. I was beeping my horn. I was yelling out, hey, buddy, where are you? And he was gone without a trace. No other trucks in sight, no cars. I, I drove down that logging road for about half an hour and there was no cars on the side of the road, nowhere, nothing that I could see. And it wasn't totally dark yet. This was just at sunset. So I don't know. This guy looked like he was right out of the 60s. It's exactly how First Nations young Indian guys dressed back then. It's like a greaser look. It was so authentic. Nobody I know dressed like that. The way he was so confused by everything about me and my truck, the pack of darts, and then the fact that the guy just disappeared and didn't even have a truck, I don't know. I don't know who this guy was, but to this day, I still wonder if that guy had a time slip experience and I was his experience. I don't think that was a time slip. That sounds like he might have seen a ghost. Excuse me, uh, the f*** did you just say? I said that one time this guy named James Jameson went to Africa just so he could buy like a 10 or 11 year old girl and then he fed her to a well-known group of cannibals just so he could see how cannibals eat people. And he proceeded to sketch it in his journal while they did it. I also said that many cannibals agree that the eyeball is the tastiest part of the human body. 
If you ever just randomly woke up at 2 a.m., there is an 80% chance it's because you felt like someone was watching you. There exists an abnormality called Brigada Syndrome to where you just die without warning. No symptoms, uh, no warning whatsoever, you just die right then and there. The Nightmare on Elm Street movie was actually based on a true story. A little boy would have nightmares and they scared him so much that he would stay up as long as he could so he didn't have to dream of them. And then when he finally went to sleep, he woke up with his stomach covered in gashes. The police reported them as self-inflicted since there was no evidence of a break-in. Also, a quick reminder, you're closer to death than when you started this video. This video officially ruined my whole night. I hate this guy. Terrifying Ways to Go, Episode 6, A Turn for the Worse. In April of this year, a father had been attending a birthday party at an indoor climbing facility where, among these many rock walls, lies a series of man-made caves. It is said he, along with his children, decided to give them a go. And while the children had no issues traversing these tunnels, they proved to be a little more difficult for the dad. Nevertheless, as they made their way further inside, one of two things happened according to reports. Here's what went down according to the last of three rescue teams called in that day. At some point, the man tried turning around in order to head back out the way he came in. But when he did, pure panic instantaneously sets in, as he has become completely wedged inside this thing. Now, unable to move, struggling to breathe, the man calls out for help. But initial rescue efforts by staff proved to be unsuccessful. It was at this time emergency services were notified, as customers and staff alike began to remove the wall panels in order to access this tunnel. However, it was determined fire rescue was also not equipped for the situation. Unable to free him as well, two additional crews had to be called in crews that specialize in complex mountain rescue operations, and over the course of the next four hours, they would work relentlessly to try and free him. But when they finally did, the damage had already been done. This man's name was Carl O'Keefe, and he would spend the next eight days fighting for his life prior to succumbing to crushing style injuries. Now it's worth pointing out, a few articles state he had slipped into one of these tunnels becoming pinned in the process, while that final rescue team states Carl had tried to turn around. Regardless, I think we can add this to the list of- That is definitely a super horrifying way to go. They probably won't be going back there again. I think you just saw Jesus. That was weird. Dude was getting lit off of fermented pears. That's funny. Rumble near Yellowstone National Park. Strange noises heard in Ireland. The Yellowstone one is terrifying because they have a mega volcano there that can end everything let's hope it's just a ufo i don't know how much i can say but there's just like this super exclusive event with just all of these really rich and famous people <laughs> yeah, yeah and i yeah. just did not belong there at the time yeah yeah and yeah he was just one of them and how'd uh, you get invited to that event island, uh, island in the bahamas well i think it was, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was, that party. It was like like i remember pulling i just can't say too much but i just remember pulling up and there's like dozens of guys with just like assault 
tables and stuff. And I was like, oh, it's like, it's, it's like that high yeah. level yeah. of an event. And um, yeah, and he just was like, I, I, so I ended up talking up there. So it's like, I don't even know how to put into words. Like everyone there was either like ultra famous or just like a billionaire. They were like very, it was crazy yeah. having all those people in that room. Um, and then at dinner, you just, they just pair you up with random people. So you meet new people and there's the one at the table and we just. No, they got Mr. Beast. The 10 most sought after objects in the world. Part four, the Holy Grail. This is the cup that Jesus Christ used at the Last Supper before he died. It is said that whoever possesses it can have infinite wisdom or eternal life, and it is one of the most powerful and sought-after objects on our planet. According to historians, in Europe alone, there are some 200 cups claimed to be the Holy Grail. In their book, they deny the authenticity of some of them, asserting that their work is based on very solid foundations. That was it. That was pretty short. Not very informative. Thanks, bro. Is there any unexplored land left on this earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole because it's getting crowded up there now because they find out it's really usable, not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. Well, this is a tremendous So challenge. there's a lot of adventure left down at the bottom of the world. Well, well, we've found enough of coal within 180 miles of the South Pole in a great uh, ridge of mountains. It's not covered with snow. Enough to supply the whole world for quite a while. Well, uh, that's, that's the coal. Now, there's evidence of uh, other, many other minerals. Uh, we are pretty sure there's oil. Now, that coal shows the bottom of the world. Now, by far, the coldest spot in the world. Where that coal is gets 100 below zero in the winter. Well, uh, it was once tropical. So, uh, we think there's oil there, and there's evidence, probably uranium. Little America? What does he mean by that? And he also said there was mountains not covered by snow. That looks terrifyingly amazing. Looks pretty safe. I'd do it. Dark magic exists. follow for more that sugar packet one was pretty legit on august 17 2002 a group of three friends ventured into the woods eager to get a breath of fresh air little did anyone know that this would be the last photograph taken of the teenagers before they vanished into the darkness days turned into weeks as the families of the missing teens anxiously awaited any news on their whereabouts finally after approximately three weeks and four days since the teenagers went missing the police received a tip from one of their statewide searches the tip led them to what was believed to be a satanic cult formed deep within the forest. The cult had sanctioned in a giant stone temple covered in strange neon blue vines. The temple also had strange but unique symbols carved into its stone, which was then covered in a red substance resembling blood. As the police continued searching, the bodies of the missing teenagers were found. They were found placed in parallel lines in the basement of the temple. Their heads were covered with what is believed to be a potato sack and their limbs were twisted and distorted beyond recognition. It was clear that the cult had performed horrific experiments on them, 
leaving the police to wonder what had truly happened in the moments leading up to their deaths. The police continued to search the cult's hideout, finding various tools and equipment used for these gruesome experiments. They also found a book filled with strange incantations, indicating that the cult had been attempting to summon some sort of otherworldly entity. One day later, the police found something else that we can only assume was very horrific, to the point where government officials had to step in, yet they never released what was found. Since that horrible day, the cult's hideout has been under a strict 24-7 government lockdown, with a strange cube-like structure made out of an unknown material being constructed around it. No one knows what happens within the walls of that cube or why the cube was built in the first place, and to this day, the government tries to keep the cult's activities quiet, fearing what could happen if the truth were to be revealed. The case of the missing teenagers has since been labeled as a cold case, and the people who committed this horrific crimes have never been caught. The bodies of said teenagers have never been released into the arms of their families, and no burial sites have been permitted, with many suggesting the teenagers' bodies are still locked inside the cult's temple. You know, that's weird. It's like we're having a satanic panic 2.0, just like the one from the 80s, or was it 70s? Come on! More! Come on! Okay. Woo! <laughs> Crazy! And beautiful. I cannot, bro. This is exactly why tourists die. <sighs> Come on, guys. What's wrong with you? Well, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Every one of you is awesome, and I appreciate all of you guys. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.